Let's make some cheap D&D miniatures. Hello and welcome to the Battling Barrow. In this crafting video we are going to make some more cheap and easy to make D&D miniatures. Now sometimes uh, there are some strange and unusual creatures in D&D that get miniatures for are quite difficult and I think this is a case for that. In this we're going to make some piercers which are monsters that look like um, static tights that hang from a ceiling and then drop down on top of unsuspecting adventurers and we also have some fungus shriekers which are giant mushrooms that when light illuminates at them they shriek out. Uh, these are for an adventure I am running for my party where the fungus shriekers when the party would get near them with a light will shriek and alert the pierces above to fall down. Uh, so yeah it's these are quite difficult to get hold of um, miniature wise and if you do they're probably going to be expensive so let's save some money and just craft some so let's get on with it so what we are going to use for this project is polymer clay i've used it before on the channel i've used it for making the sturges and the beetles i use it a lot uh, and the reason behind it is because it's easy to use it doesn't dry out until you bake it you've got lots of working time so rather than using something like green stuff or um milli parts which has a limited working time i prefer this for that it comes in these blocks that you open up and we're just gonna tear a bit off um, and you work it between your fingers to keep, and it's really easy to work with not too sure about how much detail you can get in uh, from miniatures i'm making it's fine but if you want something a bit more detailed you probably want to go green stuff but you could of course use this as a base and then I'll apply green stuff over the top for detail. That could work, I guess. But for these, these piercers, they are meant to look like uh, static mites. Mites come down. No, static tights. Mites go up, tights come down. Um, so, get it looking like a triangle. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'll grab a sculpting tool. Uh, it's covered in plaster. Not very helpful. I'm just going to put a mouth in, uh, like so. And using the other end, I want to put an indentation for an eyeball. So, and on the mouth, I'm just going to try and get some teeth in, or the illusion of teeth. Coming with another bit. For the eye, like all sort of looking more down. You can sort of add a bit of detail onto this so it looks a bit more rock like for when we wash and dry brush this later on. Uh, and I do stick four little bits on the back to be his sort of legs, arms, things. This could be where you'd bake it first and do it in green stuff if you really want some detailed stuff, but I'm not too worried. As long as there's something there. Basically the miniatures I sort of make myself are unusual ones that you can't buy. very difficult to get hold of just this okay so there he is he has he's hanging down put his little legs on the back here but how are we gonna hang him from here okay for that I'm gonna use a uh, paper clip and some pliers I'm gonna straighten out this part of it and I'll straighten out that so it's a, a 90 degrees. Uh, 
coming with the pliers just pinch the end and bend it over like so and my piercer will get well, stuck on the end like so and in time this will be attached to a base this bit will be painted black ideally I'd like some sort of transparent thing but this is all about easily making models on the cheap at home that everyone can do so I'll just hang like that I'm going to make a few more of these before we move on to the next thing we're making for the shrieking fungi we're going to be using uh, we don't have to you can just use a uh, plain polymer clay and uh, paint it later on but I'm going to be using sort of base colors to get the you know the base color as it were and so I'm going to make red and we're just going to make a quick what well, mushroom cap really I guess uh, how big I want them you go So we'll be painting them afterwards, but I just want to get the uh, base colour done. So I think they're going to be that big. Compared to old Hugo, looks right. Okay. That said, polymer clay is so much fun to work with. I just find it so easy for doing things like this. No right or wrong way of doing this really, I am going to do though. Combine these underneath. Polymer clay art is probably screaming at me saying I'm doing this all manner of wrong. No bacon bond going on here or anything. That's fine. mouth in here that's where it's going to be shrieking from Probably sometimes easier uh, doing this on the actual plate you're going to bake it in. So I'll take this off after once I'm happy with it. But no. What I do is just add lots of little dots over it as. Some mushrooms, I'll carry on. Yeah, if you are a polymer clay artist, uh, don't hate me for the uh, <laughs> what I'm doing here. There are better ways of doing this, of course. You just in camera. Something like that. All I'll do is try and get him off. As so I should have done him on his tray. That is what he's going to look like. Yeah, I'll probably add a few more dots on, but that's that one. Like so, yeah, 
this game on a tray because I don't have to worry about him. Yep. Also put all the uh, these ones in here. I'll make a few more mushrooms. Uh, now we're at this stage, we've just got to uh, put them in the oven. Okay, put them on uh, 110. I'm going to put them on the shelf for about 25 minutes. And after 25 minutes, they're done. Just go and Carefully pull them off the uh, from the tray, and we have we can move on to painting, which will be a breeze. Starting with the piercers, I'm going to get some Agrex Earthshade, and I'm just going to dry brush that all over. I want these to be a rocky brownie, grey brownie colour. Now the easiest way just to get in all that detail we would have got out of the polymer clay. Paint the legs at the back uh, black. I'm using the contrast paint black here just to get a bit of shading into them. The eyes I'm going to paint using uh, vampire red, white coat of arms. The mushroom stalks. Reichling Flesh Shade, uh, slightly watered down, just on the stalks, just to bring out the detail there. Okay, next up, mix up some Millipart or Green Stuff, or whatever you like. I'm going to put it, get a Slosser Base, use the uh, Millipart to cover up the Slosser Base, get one of these things, push it in, and then push it over to hold it into place. And I'll let, let the uh, mini pump go dry. Next up, paint the bases uh, grey, any grey you want, and then glue the mushrooms to the bases using super glue. Uh, once all that's dry, Apply some a watered down PVA to the base, and then I've made I like making my own ready made base mixtures. I'm trying to work on a cavern one here, I'm not overly pleased with this. I might go back to the drawing board, but this was made from uh, various bits of railway ballast, so it's got some small bits and some medium bits, as well as some dust from it, and it will look kind of rocky. I may come back to a making that sort of rocky cavern mix in the future, and um, but with that. You're done. And here we are with the uh, piercers and fungus shriekers, fungi shriekers, screaming mushrooms. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with these considering they're definitely not a sculptor. Hello. But for m models that are quite difficult for me to find suitable models for anyway, I know they do exist, but they're not quite as common as, say, getting an orc. These are going to be a good substitute for the sort of rare times when I'm going to be using sort of these this sort of creature. Uh, so yeah, I really like them. It looks like I've got the old mouse. Uh, we can have a look at them in a showcase better than me just doing this. Um, but that is it for this video. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch. Thank you for supporting the channel and being awesome. Thank you to my blooming awesome patrons for uh, making videos like this possible um, thank you all really uh, it's been you've been it's been great uh, just recently the support I've been getting um, but that's it for this video until the next one guys stay safe take care